Hey everybody, call me Felix and today I will show you how lechon is cooked way up north in the Philippines in Ilocos region. My cousin JP purchased and raised a native pig for a special occasion feast, which was supposed to be our Christmas dinner, but it was too, too young and JP had to go in another direction, as in that canned ham Christmas of 2020 when he tried to secure, smoke, and bake a Chinese-style ham with other ham-related dishes in an effort to stave off the emergency canned ham from the pantry. Videos on the right-hand corner if you're curious. Now then, back to our roast lechon on the occasion of Cousin JP's late father's birthday. Typically, locals raise their own pigs and take them to the lechoneros to roast on a manual spit and take them back as the centerpiece of their feast. The local recipe here in our part of Ilocos, at least in our small town of Pitdig, is to roast it simply with a local leaf that is comparable to a bay leaf with more basil-like notes. However, we insisted that the lechoneros roast our pig Cebu style, as in stuffed to the gills with lemongrass, spring onions, garlic, bay leaves, star anise, five spice powder, and other aromatics. So far, my experience eating lechon has been a bit surprising. I found the lechon in Cebu to be quite uneven, whether it be Rico's lechon, Zubuchon, and even the famous Karkar lechon, reputed to be the tastiest on the island of Cebu. To me, the best skin to fat texture of lechon was on a luxury buffet line at the Shangri-La Hotel in Bonifacio Global City, whereas the boldest tasting lechon was my birthday roast pig, and the best overall lechon was down on Mama Ping's farm. Both of these roasts were from Ilocos Norte. So, really, this video is all about if local Ilocano lechoneros cooking Cebu style roast pig for the very first time can pull off a Cebu lechon right up there with the Philippines' best. Also, for some of the locals at our party, it was their first time tasting the famous Cebu style lechon. It's often overlooked that the Philippines is a relatively large country, further separated by the distances between provinces and islands, and geography is part of the reason why finding Cebuano cooking techniques up north in Ilocos to be something of a rarity. This video is a relatively brief step-by-step -step overview of how to roast a Cebu style lechon in your backyard, but I will be releasing a longer extended cut on how this native pig was prepared and roasted to the finest detail. Stay tuned for that video in the future and I think it's a good time to remind you to subscribe for more of our food and travel related adventures as we have plenty of them to share. If you want to check out all our lechon related feasting, I've made you a playlist on the top right hand corner. And before we get to the preparation, I'll show you how we source our ingredients, namely the lemongrass or tanglad as it is known in Tagalog. Finding lemongrass here in Ilocos Norte can be tricky, as it's typically found in small quantities at the local supermarkets, and they're usually not quite as fresh, and they're generally quite pricey. We lucked out when we found out a patch of lemongrass that grew by the curbside on the road leading to Angelo's house, more than plenty enough to pluck the necessary dozen bundles to stuff our roast pig with. Tanglad is not a commonly used ingredient in Ilocano cuisine, and in fact, it's not even used in lechon, as the locals find it stinky when cooked. We found so much lemongrass intact that we took a few stalks to grow in our yard. It truly goes to show that just like dad picking marungai or moringa leaves off the street, it's all a matter of looking for finding fresh ingredients in not so obvious places. That's the beauty of living in the provinces. The pig we raised for this special occasion was a black native pig. Although smaller than larger commercial breeds, the native pig is considered by some to be tastier as well as more organic and sustainable to raise. Having had roast na native lechon before, it left me quite conflicted as it seemed leaner but less fatty and unctuous. For the short time we had this pig, I named him Charlie Porker after Charlie Parker, the most influential jazz saxophonist who pioneered bebop and whose lineage you can trace forward to more avant-garde jazz like Miles Davis. After Charlie Porker was dispatched, shaved and torched of all of its hairs, gutted of its organs and blood for other dishes, and continuously watched again and again, it was about time to prepare the ingredients for seasoning and stuffing the pig with. We start with green onions and red onions already chopped. Then add a handful of cloves of crushed garlic, bay leaf, star anise, five spice powder, black peppercorns, salt, and magic syrup. And for those of you opposed to using MSG, let's just say your nanai likely used magic syrup. So with your tatai, so, with, so did your Lola and Lola even in their heyday, and definitely your titas and titos. Shoot, even Marco Pierre White, the first enfant terrible celebrity chef, was a shell for seasoning food with nor cubes. So I think you're in good company with people who use MSG or magic syrup to enhance flavor in their food. 
To make the skin crispier, we used Sprite. But our chef also insisted in adding Sprite to the stuffing mix, and we shrugged and said fine. Before stuffing, Chef coated the entire pig generously with soy sauce, as doing so seals flavor in the skin while spit roasting circulates it more evenly. In the cavity, particularly around the belly, Chef stuffed the pig with the garnish and he even included some near the killing wound, making for a tasty herbaceous shoulder and pig's head as well. Finally, before sewing up the pig, Chef embedded the lemongrass bundles. It took about three and a half hours to manually spit roast the pig over in direct heating. In addition, we requested for the innards fried into crispy bagbagis and the liver into adobo for an extra fee. The full prep and cooking service for the lechon cost about 1500 pesos with a little discount, whereas the bagbagis and liver adobo cooking cost 500 pesos. And you have the option of taking the organs to take home and cook them yourself free of charge. I will be posting a separate video for the crispy bagbagis soon, and so stay tuned for that video if you're interested. From here on in, it's yours truly commenting stream of consciousness as it happened, starting with the roasting process. It's just roasted by one guy on a spit. <laughs> I thought this was a two-man effort. I wonder how many times they base it with Sprite. So this is the secret, guys, to keeping getting crispy skin is to use uh, Sprite or any soda. You could use coconut water too, but uh, Sprite or any other soda that's really totally neutral will add the carbonation without really putting too much flavor in there. But you see, that's that's how the skin will bubble up. You get those... My favorite is that when that skin just has like those air bubbles. You can achieve that with a bit of carbonation from the Sprite. All right, it's a breezy day, everyone. So they got to take extra care to manage the fire. So they put some extra firewood. This is not exactly uh, charcoal, so it's indirect he firewood heat. And Warren wanted me to point out something to you. On the back there, if you see very carefully, there's a birthmark on the back, on the spine. It's like a diamond. And Warren thinks him being a kind of superstitious on the lines of JP, it probably means something like good luck. I don't know. But I think once it's cooked to a crisp, we won't see that birthmark anymore. But gosh, it is a breezy day. And they gotta manage this fire pretty much every minute or so. Or every five minutes. Eh, practically every minute. You can see it's indirect heating through the firewood. And apparently this cooks in three and a half hours. So I would say that's relatively quick for especially the cooking method. Quite a romantic cooking method, I might add. So he's making charcoal out of that firewood and then just putting it on the bottom. It's one of the more satisfying things about making lechon, especially when you have charcoal, is that the juices that run off the pig hit the charcoal and then it indirectly goes back up as smoke, adding a little more um, char. I think because it's indirect, it's not quite like that. So I think, of course we're not going to the final taste yet, but hmm, it's a little interesting this cooking method. I want to know if it gets you the same result because I think what they say is doing it over charcoal with a manual spit adds extra flavor. I'm really curious to see how this indirect heating sort of works and look at that with the way that the branches are the firewood is set up, how it's getting some of that smoke right back up into the pig. All right, I think we are 40 minutes into cooking. 40 minutes, 45 minutes just about. And you can see real closely, the oils are starting to come out of the pig and it's starting to self-baste. And then this ring here, because it's indirect heating, 
kind of traps the moisture, deflects it back into the pig itself. So instead of doing a charcoal, we have indirect heating. And then we're, they're playing it by ear because of the breeze that's coming from the northeast. So that the smoke doesn't, you know, it doesn't travel all the way just going southwest this way. Uh, some of it deflects back in as vapor and smoke. There it goes again. Let's just smoke. Ooh, look at the shimmering oil and Sprite. I'll tell you, this is uh, pretty labor intensive having to cook out here in the open. Using the elements too. Look at that, he has to douse it as well. The water. Look at that, distributing the oils across the skin. I'll tell you, props to these guys. I mean, they attention to detail and having to cook out here in the elements and using the elements too and slotting out the firewood as needed stuff like that I mean really labor intensive Let's put it in Ooh la la. Ooh la la! Most Ooh. handsome lechoneros ever! I smell lemongrass! Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I'm scallions! Mmm, the smell of Cebu. I've brought it here. Cebu, uh, yeah. Unboxing! JP is doing the honors of the unboxing. Thank you, Shopee. <laughs> Thank you, Shopee. Thank you, Shopee. Oh my god. Ta da! Wow! It's We're gonna have to. Lechon. Native lechon cooks sabu style. Oh, that's so much. Why this is the most handsome, the so, most the most handsome carver so literally, in the world. Mm. This is my first time to cook the chon, and I'm just using my brain. Yeah, if you keep that mask on. <laughs> the bullet chon, yes the sir. Chon. Yes sir. So this is my first time to cut the chon. That's why I'm just using my brain to. Mm -hmm. Why don't you use your good looks too? And my looks <laughs> just took out this. Mmm, yes. Oh. Right down the shoulder. Yeah. I think you wanna... What? I think you wanna cut it in half though. Half? Yeah. First in half. Yes, sir. Oh. So we can get a lot of those aromatics, right? Wow, look at this. Yeah, well, I, I, first dibs for me! <laughs> Oh, that's 
toss some juice slop out. Oh snap, look at that. There was some juice. Mmm. Hey, come down, my friend. Oh my goodness. You <laughs> go warm, you're gonna join in as well. We got a full-on symphony, I've got to say. You need the first, but the table... I'm scared that the table will crack. Yeah. Angel can snap this table in half. Oh, snap. It's like peeking duck skin, right? It's half an hour. Oh. oh. Careful. <laughs> oh, oh. That's all. Okay. Don't hurt yourself, my friend. I'm feeling that brunt! <laughs> but them meat juices are not chopping out of it. But yeah, you can smell the lemongrass, the, spring, the onion, the garlic, daily. That looks mighty tasty. I'm sorry, because this is kind of my- oh man, hot. You know, you guys are not half bad at carving. Not half bad. I mean, not as efficient and not as elegant, but hey, you guys do the job, right? Yeah. This is, my first, this is our first time. That's right. Handsome boys. Handsome boys. Carving. Yes. All right, everyone. You know what? For all that chopping from Angelo and Warren, they sprayed a bunch of juice on my lens. <laughs> so this is the aftermath. Well, not exactly the aftermath, but... Yeah, there's a ton of it, but some of this is absolutely awesome. And that made some um, sinigang ng bangos. Because it's good uh, a good compliment to the lechon. Yeah, and some of this skin is awesome too. And then some of this part of the meat got a lot of lemongrass. Ah. You know what? Yeah, I like this better, <laughs> and this is gonna be a travesty to all you summer you said buanos. I like this better than Zubuchan and Rico's lechon. Fighting words, if there's ever any. And I like it better than Car Car. Bum bum bum. Some part of the skin is just divine. There it goes. Oh yeah, you can go from the top of the shoulder. Yeah, it's so fun. Native bato? Yep. Or the regular, regular bato? Native. Native pig? Mm hmm. Kaya pala siya ano? It was alive as of 12 hours ago. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna eat some rice, huh? It's all you're eating, huh? <laughs> it's good, man. It's good. What do you think? Mom said good. Hmm? Even no sauce, say good. Hmm, it's good. Yeah. Is this like the chooks to go sabu lechon without sauce? It's still good. And that is a mighty mine, mighty fine plate of food, I must say. So I got some liver adobo. This was part of the cooking. Although, you do have to pay extra for that. 500 pesos more. Including this, bagbagi sin dinar dra'an. With blood, sauce. Some of that lechon's under here somewhere. And some pancit. Oh, uh, where should we go first? Oh, JP told me that the liver is clean and he doesn't like liver. So, I mean, naturally we should go there. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. Wow, this is pretty clean, substantial, meaty, and creamy. And that sauce has a little bit of vinegar, just to offset anything. Tastes clean. Now then, you tried some of that bug bug this earlier. It was crunchy to a crisp. Almost tastes like corn nuts to me. So I'm going to mix this in with the blood sauce. I think this might be my favorite thing. Um, except the lechon, of course. Mm. Mm. 
Now, believe it or not, I think it could be even more luxurious if they used the large intestine. You know, like, it's a little chewy and it's really crispy, like a very light chicharron. I tend to like that one better, but the next best thing is this. And this blood sauce is more on the sour side. Mm. Really good. Not the best. I still believe that the dinner drama and I had in uh, Bintar was better. But you got a mixture of b b intestine, some long, I think some kidney in here too. Yeah. Now I gotta move on to the lechon. I'm cheating a bit because I got some fat with some blood sauce <laughs> on that really luscious lechon piece. Hmm. I have a wild idea. I want to take some of that bagis and the lechon fat together with some blood sauce. Now that is a quite a variance in texture, isn't there? Hmm. I think the sourness of the slight sourness of that blood sauce accentuates well with the sour from the lemon uh, lemon grass, which is not too punchy either. Okay, punch it because we have to try it. It's on our plates. I know, gang, it's not the, my favorite thing, but we gotta try some. This is a sotang hoon, and it's got some nice chew. I think I'll just try the noodles by themselves. Yeah, it's something good to nibble on once you get more meat and intestines and so on. That's the way I see it, and then the rice needs no reviewing. Okay. Now, as for this lechon, this is the star of the show. Um, parts of which are absolutely divine. Like the skin crisps through, there's some nice juicy fattiness. It tastes clean because this is native, so there's no off-putting taste, really. Um, what else can I say about it? One, my one criticism about native lechon is that it's a little too lean for my liking, but this is not. And some parts have a really strong lemongrass, green onion flavor. This is awesome. So, yeah. Um, like I said before, and I put some fighting words here. This is better than Zubuchon. This is better than Rico's Lechon. And it's better than Kar Kar. Oh, Dad is saying, oh, oh don't, don't introduce more fighting words, please. You've, you've said too much on your blog about fighting words. Can I just say something? I think... What? You know, the fat, I usually like put away, I don't really like the fat. Mm -hmm. The lemongrass and the green onions really emanated into the fat. So the fat is really good. Yes. I mean, it, it doesn't make you feel like you're overly eating like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? When you eat a lot mm -hmm. of fat, yeah. it's like, oh, I don't want any more. Oh, you can't so stop. you know what? I think our job is done here today because yeah. you know what? We worked hard today. We really did to get and, this stuff together, right? Oh yeah, we did. We certainly Super. did. And we hit the lemongrass off the side of the road. That yep. shows some dedication, and thanks to Angelo especially. <laughs> Thank I mean, you, Angelo. Stud Muffin Angelo found it. That was his thing. Let me get some of that. And you know what? I think I proved that even in Ilocos, the Lechoneros, if you have the perfect guidance, they will cook you a really good Cebu Lechum that rivals... The, it, it rivals the taste of Cebu. Warren, what did you have to say about my stubborn insistence that we have Cebu Lechon? What did you think? Um, honest review. Honest review? Honest review, be honest. My instinct only. Instinct what? only what? Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean your instinct only? Uh, He's asking you what is your review of the... Of, he insisted on getting Cebu Lechon. Yeah. So, and, he, and we kind of just wanted to do the regular. So, based off of that, should we have done the regular or the Cebu Lechon? What do you prefer? 
Oh, this one. Sabula Chon. Like it? Why? No. Tell us what. To, tell us. Give us a review. Uh, How does it taste? <laughs> How does it feel? Do you love it? Um, yeah, you it's, like it? Uh, like, um, <laughs> it's smooth when you come through your throat. Yeah, yeah. Smooth, yeah. it helps your throat. Mm -hmm. Not, oh, no, not, not umay. Yeah, it does. Yeah, the umay, that's the thing. So how do you say that in English? Umay? Um, when you're, if you eat too much oil and it's so rich, mm -hmm. you kind of like don't want to eat anymore. It's with like cloying. One, with this one, with the fat that's on the actual mm -hmm. lechon, you want to eat more it and it doesn't, like, yeah, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. You eat more like this when you eat more and then you say, oh, I don't, want, I don't want to eat it. Like Warren that. said, mm. Warren said it's not about the lemongrass. <gasps> what? He said, he said, it's the balance of the ingredients. Oh, oh snap! Yeah. Bingo. Oh my god! <laughs> Bingo! Bingo! That's what I thought. It's not about the lemongrass. It's all about the chip. It's Who's the balance. balance. Yep. No, it's about the lemongrass because the yes, chefs never use lemongrass. Yeah. <laughs> So it's the chefs here don't know how to cook. about about Angelo's street side lemongrass on the road. <laughs> <laughs> this is Deeper. the first time I taste the bowl at John. Oh, what? Mmm, so sexy eating, eating Angelo again. Oh, he's gonna lick the last plate of the plate, everyone. <laughs> lick your fingers, Angelo. Give them a smell. Lick the plate as well. <laughs> <laughs> Left and right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? That's it's sexy eyes. You know what? That that that's that is the perfect way to end the the the, the Cebu Lechon quest. With the sexy eyes. Uh, you know, we proved that here in Ilocos you can cook Cebu Lechon if you can guide those people to make it. Because you know the people up here don't necessarily know about it. They're, Cebu I mean, Lechon. I would say it's, they're used to their ways. So I yes. guess you gotta kind of like let them step out of the box. Yeah. And so we took a chance. We stepped out of the box, and mm -hmm. it was a success. Yeah. That's good. The Nike box, shoe box, or what? Match box? Oh, uh, the freezer box. Oh. So, on that note, everybody, <laughs> if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. That yes. helps a lot. Warren, thumbs up, please. Thumbs up, and don't forget to like, share, comment, and the most important is subscribe. Oh, snap, Warren. <laughs> do Warren does it better than I do the spiel, yeah. everyone. Okay, and until then, we got so much. You know what we're gonna do tomorrow? Um, we're going to Rama, so don't forget this face again and that face. Okay. Angelo's face, the other beautiful carver. Right? And so, with that said, guys, tomorrow is a Rama day, and remember, Rama day! Rama day is tomorrow, everyone. Empire never ended.